Yes. What made you decide? It being Italian, as opposed to you know looking at another medium or exploring another medium such as sculpture and uh, painting, you decided to go to towards photography. Yes, What's yes. Like to uh, because my background is uh, in art history, and due to the uh, huge cultural uh, heritage of Italy, I've always been interested about our uh, my culture, uh, the history, and so my aim was to, to be was to be curator and. Uh, work in a museum, but then I, I think that myself, for a, a certain moment of my life, I think that photography was the medium to, to communicate with people and doing a job and, and study, but really academic, uh, I decided uh, that photography would open me and so this is why also my kind of photography is not related to taking pictures of, of paintings or architecture, but more people. And street life. So, and uh, so I think it's uh, it's really kind of changing my life. Uh, my my first important project uh, in uh, was as, as, as a gentleman of Congo, where I started in 2007 and uh, until 2009 when I published the book. It came uh, because I always had a fascination for for Africa, starting to collaborate. <coughs> about a magazine, Italian magazine, about Bimanf, about African cultures. Uh, I, the, the world of SAF for me was not really known, so I wanted to discover it and do a research. And so it's in a way I knew uh, in the same time our project in Congo, in Brazzaville, I, I, I went twice to, to do it. So it's, uh, it's kind of for a, ser a series of different situation and coincidence. Uh, coming from Milan is also famous for fashion, so my interest uh, in fashion it came later. And uh, instead of uh, documenting fashion in Milan or in Paris or in New York, I said I'm more interested about fashion in place where are a bit hidden or not in the in a, in a sense of uh, usually the magazine, the medium. So. Uh, and uh, fascinating about how fashion in, uh, it can, uh, uh, I think, uh, sa say so many things uh, about the identity of, of, a, of, of a community. And so I think the two things, uh, my background in history of art, who always, uh, in, a, in a sense, you can see my picture really pictorially, so help me in the sense of composition and love for colors, and at the same time, the social aspects. So my interest for for a different for culture that are not my culture, and and, and fashion as a pretext. And so it's all these things came together in this year. And so I think that uh, all what you are seeing in this exhibition is it reflects uh, a lot about uh, my aim to 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 put in value in a positive way different. Uh, subculture and um, you can sound like more right but <laughs> how did you get gain access particularly to the Congo because um, it's not like the Congo is um, um, a place that's really accessible as much to um, tourists I mean people don't go on vacation in the Congo um, it's, but it has a lot of history in terms of essential the African diaspora right many of our ancestors were brought through the Americas, through South America, um, the Caribbean, from the Congo. So when you look at the art and history that had already predated contemporary times in the Congo, it's you know, very important in terms of creating um, an African diasporan aesthetic. But um, how do you, as a arguably white <laughs> Italian photographer, gain access um, to the Congo? Yes, it's true. Uh, when I went, uh, the war uh, was finished. It was finished too far. But still, uh, as you can see in the picture of, of, a, of, a, of a guy, we see the ballet in the wall. So my interest was, as I said, really to create this. So there is still a sort of a, a poverty do in the, in the environment. So I was fascinated by the elegance of these people in a, in a city that uh, had uh, previously war and was still uh, 
even if very rich, because kind of, you know, it reflects the contradiction of, I think, uh, uh, African cities. So, uh, and uh, I think Sapir also reflects this paradox and this. I just tried with my photos to, uh, in a sense, this is the power of photography, to give a more international audience, especially in UK, in the States. At that time, it was really new in France and Congo, because it's so related with the with this history of Congo and this colonialism. Right. So I think uh, that was a fact that posed me the fashion industry then uh, was uh, an inspired. It all came in, uh, in something that I not, in, never expected. But I think it's so in, in, incredible because Sapir dress from Western designer and then the, the, the designer in the same times a copy or inspired by them. So it's, right. it says so many things about relation about Western and Africa, how we see Africa, how it's right. perceived and vice versa. So I think the success of this work is because of a potentiality uh, that's uh, in social terms and also in terms of style, both. Right. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I, I started really really without even imagining, really like a work in progress. And then uh, I decided to do the book uh, just because I thought it was a very interesting story to tell without any expectation because right. it was my first book. So it really was something uh, <coughs> now that we are in 2013 and right. still uh, there is an interest uh, also for music, Solange knows. Right. It's, I think it's a series of uh, of course it is. I think one of the things that I appreciate about your work itself, and I have to be honest, as a curator, I can be very critical of artists who are producing work about a particular community that are outside of that community, right? Especially when you look at the uh, how uh, African peoples have been documented through anthropology, um, throughout our history, um, we have been othered, right? And so it's easy to look at a phenomenon um, such as even La Sape and look at it as in, in an othering type of way. And so when I look at your photographs, um, despite the fact that you are Italian, because there are now, uh, uh, I'm probably going to mispronounce his name, but Baudin Mawundu. I'm not sure if anybody's familiar with his work, but he's also a young uh, Congolese photographer who has also been um, documenting La Sape. But um, it seems more of a collaboration between you as a photographer, as um, and the subject, the subjects themselves, as opposed as opposed to you staging. You know, I want you to stand right here, pose like this, um, which is the case um, when people are othering mm -hmm. um, individuals going inside of a society and othering them. It looks as more of as if you know you tend to be blended. You are some way you are able to blend in a, in a backdrop and allow them to speak for themselves, yes. which I think is very critical. Yes, I uh, most uh, of like this picture, you know, uh, they like to pose. So I, I don't even ask them to pose. It's like uh, it's a little bit of a part of a role, for like actors, as I said. So we like like uh, divas, and we really like also the way we pose. At least uh, I like to create like in this picture where the girl even didn't know I was taking pictures of her to to create really contextualize so the picture are uh, can be a single portraits but most of are very descriptive about the, the background so that uh, have a lot of information and uh, usually yes I like uh, I'm a documentary photographer so I, I like really unexpected moments but at the same times uh, like uh, this picture on the Playboys of Bakongo that uh, is, is done in another project but similar. I like you to my background in history of art, the composition, uh, the forms, the symmetries. So uh, like this, but for me when uh, it reminds you of Caravaggio lightings, so I really like this, this man coming from the shadows. So there is uh, really this, uh, when you take a picture, this desire to be natural, but in the same time to do a picture that uh, is compositionally uh, great, strong. Is there a common thread? Do you think 
anything that's a common thread between that's up here through the chalita, through the heavy metal, mm -hmm. is there a, a, some type of common thread that exists between all of these different groups? Yes, uh, there are. As I said, uh, my, my, my photos, uh, Sapir, are a lot, uh, uh, even if I'm in relation with, I think, politics, mm -hmm. because Sap, it's, it's become, in, in a way, like, to to break a certain uniformity and also Cuba, you know, uh, about the way how people uh, now uh, want to feel free to express themselves or heavy metals uh, in Africa, especially the girls, where there is still uh, a sort of uh, bad consideration to them because they think they are like demoniac and uh, they are not totally different, so they bring uh, they bring cross to show that they are not uh, satanist. So it's something related to, to in a way, po po to politics. There is some relation to, I think, with uh, political or with history, with social. It depends. Uh, maybe uh, I think uh, that, um, as I said, I always try that, that I hope that people who see my picture just not are fascinated by uh, the fact to some some. Uh, uh, unexpected style, but uh, also because they can read something more. This is why uh, I always try to contextualize. So I'm not just simple portrait, but I want to see the, the background because it's and uh, have a, the picture of uh, of it. The Cholito with his husband inside the house, where you can see every little detail of the house. So where we live. So it's, I think it's not just clothes, but the environment says a lot about uh, the, the, the social condition, about uh, about uh, the place where, where we come from. So this, in order to show that or not can be done in London or I try to you know, you can see, you can recognize from where I put this picture, where it's, where it's done this picture, but who have been in Africa, that is typical to see this kind of empty house right. in Brazzaville or in our cities in Africa. So the contextualization uh, and the relation right. with, uh, that go beyond the style right. of the fashion, uh, uh, these common threads right. among right. these different projects. Uh, each week in all history and is is yeah. Do you feel as an artist, uh, it's your responsibility um, to create work that is political, or do you think it's the role of the artist to be political? Because I mean, that's always a, a constant uh, argument or debate, or for our sake, which I think is a, definitely a Western Eurocentric model, yes. or art for the sake of um, some type of higher purpose or goal. And so, as an artist yourself, do you feel like your work should be used for something higher than the aesthetic? Yes, I think so. But uh, I always leave uh, the people judge. I always leave the people. Uh, each, uh, I think, each of person here can have a different um, feeling when you see a picture. You know. So uh, I leave the viewer judging see if we uh, are political or not. I, I uh, usually I maybe uh, I hope that uh, as I said since the beginning, uh, people who see my picture are just not see nice aesthetically but read something more. But then is is up to each individual and uh, uh, of course. Uh, uh, my aim uh, as a documentary photographer, as not a fashion photographer, is always to bring fashion in this case, because I don't do just fashion or street life, I'm doing a project completely different, is to uh, really show fashion in different direction. And so, but, uh, uh, that's why I think the, my kind of work is a unique in the sense because I try to uh, put together two things that are really different because fashion is something really constructive, right. is something artificial, and I try to put something natural and real that regards fashion and style and 
different different lawyers. His name is uh, Kepi. He do his hats. He designed his hats. So it's. Uh, we were just in the streets, and when I see when I see the icon, I thought it was so meaningful. Yeah. And the Soviets, uh, you have an idea of Johannesburg, really different. It, is, yeah. it reminds me Berlin, or yeah, yeah. so I decided to 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 ask them to to pose in this uh, in front of this uh, wall. That I said it reminds me. It, I don't know, maybe because I, well, I don't know really Berlin, yeah. but uh, some. As I said, some, in some picture I have uh, some paintings due to my background in history of art. So I try to, to it's something inner, I don't know, it's, it comes natural and I try to do it in, in a few moments because, you know, we are just on the street, so you don't, it's not like fashion when you have all the time to pose and to use lighting, so, and we just, we just decided to pose like this, so it's, I think, the background, I feel, well, when I walk in the street, I uh, capture the, the background in a moment. I do, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, you know, street photography. You, I show the subject and when I try to see the subject, I show the subject around me. So, I always have different so eyes. You, you have to cross this background, you didn't ask people? No, you? no, 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 I didn't ask. I just walk and I just <laughs> explore in the moment. And uh, uh, I just... I, I'm, I'm inspired by the street. I always said, for me, the street is the theater of life. So I feel so much inspiration and uh, uh, in place where so I don't I know. I just so. want to say that I think every neighborhood has so much to learn from these photographies. I mean, this neighborhood too needs to see how we can you know, bring color and <coughs> dreams into our lives in times of challenge or in times of Good, so thank you to Artico for bringing this exhibition to this neighborhood and just bring color and life and so much to learn. And thank, thank you. you to you for taking these pictures. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you. Thank you. I'd like to thank you, Chantrelle, because when I decided uh, to Christine and Chantrelle, uh, to organize was all uh, I think uh, motivated because in a uh, one second each of them said okay well let's do it yes. at the last moment so thank you to come it's a pleasure history of them and also the wonderful integration of you being, being able to do this, being like we were talking a lot about being white Italian and being accepted mm -hmm. and on, not only at the time of the photographies but after, right. you know, and it's really nice, it's a, it's a, a big step in the right direction, I think, <laughs> of combining. Thank you so much for coming.